So last year, I made a video on the Omega-1 engine and it kind of went viral. And when you're going through the specs of the engine, it's easy to see why people are excited. But since then, Astron Aerospace really didn't give us a whole lot in terms of updates. In fact, the website seems to be unchanged from the time of my first video on the engine. This has led many to speculate whether the engine is even real or if it's just a money grab. I mean with so many of us hoping for a future where a small, lightweight, hydrogen powered engine will be powering our cars, this engine would be perfect. Now I'm not going to lie, I also started wondering how legit this engine was. Then I got a comment linking me to a video of them testing the actual prototype of the Omega 1. But before we get into that, if you didn't watch the previous video, let me quickly update you on the specs and then we can get into the actual prototype. So Astron Aerospace have many claims when it comes to the Omega 1 engine. The Omega 1 is a rotary engine with no seals, barely any moving parts and almost no losses in the combustion cycle. You see, with a traditional internal combustion engine, you lose stacks of energy through heat and friction. And with this new engine by Astron Aerospace, they aim to eliminate nearly all of the losses associated with the internal combustion engine. Now, these engines are modular and stackable. Now, one unit weighs around 16 kilograms and develops 160 horsepower and 170 foot-pounds of torque. Now, according to them, these engines can spin up to 25,000 RPM. And like I said, they are stackable, and all of the power of a single engine is multiplied by the number of engines that may be placed end to end. So let's say you have three rotors, you would have 480 horsepower and a total weight of the motors of about 48 kilograms, which is an insane power to weight ratio for an engine. So how does it work? Well, the theory is that the aerodynamic forces are eliminated since the engine is air-cooled. Rotating shafts encircle the engine openings and both upper and lower shafts counter-rotate. The design splits the four-stroke combustion cycle into two, the one part for intake and compression and the other for combustion and exhaust. The intake air is compressed and travels through a rotary valve to the pre-chamber between the two rotors, where fuel is injected and when it enters the power side of the rotor, it ignites, driving the rotor, and then it would leave through the exhaust port. Now, this engine has no seals, how is this possible? Well, according to Astron Aerospace, the answer is very tight tolerances. Now, as many of you guys pointed out, tight tolerances also could bring down the lifespan of the engine. And it's things like this that makes you wonder if the engine would even work. Well, as I said earlier, there is a working prototype. Now, when I got the link, I was pretty excited. I mean, if this thing works, it would be insane. And I watched the video and, um, well, this is it. Now, it's just idling, I was expecting a little more, so my first thoughts was maybe a new video would be released shortly, then I saw the video was uploaded around 8 months ago, now, now I don't really know when the new newer test will come out and when we will know more. Now after the video I went through the website and I read a bit more and I saw that they said new updates and developments on the engine will come in quarter 2 of 2023. So hopefully in this year, a bit later, we will get some more updates. Yeah, just wanted to update you guys. But let's talk about the engine and the video we have. So the engine seems to work, even though they aren't pushing it very hard, but it's probably still in early development. So they won't be pushing it because they don't want to break it. But here's my question. I just want to know what is that fluid that is leaking? Is that water or is it spitting out fuel? I hope it's not fuel, but here's the thing, according to Astron Aerospace, the Omega 1 is air-cooled. Air-cooled engines don't use water to be cooled, so they normally don't have water in their systems, which leads me to fuel. But would they really show a clip of an engine that spits out fuel? I, I don't know. Maybe the engine didn't get enough air and the water is just used in testing to keep temps down, I don't know. But I would love some clarification and updates. Astron, if you are watching this video, please give us something 
we've got quite a big community of people that are really interested in your engine and you aren't giving us anything to work with. So, yeah. Anyways, let me know down below what you think of the engine. What do you think is that fluid crap? And do you think they're actually going to go any further forward? Or do you think we're going to stagnate now for another year before we get another clip? Or what do you think is going to happen? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did like it, you'll like most of the stuff on my channel. Everything on my channel is correlated. We dig really deep into hydrogen technology and the future of the automotive world through hydrogen technology. So if that's something that would interest you, just go through it. See if there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? Over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air The pain I felt is painful All is said and done Oh I am restricted